The story of Yusuf alayhi salam can be broken up into 12 parts. If you know the story, you can easily, as it is in Surah Yusuf, you can break it up into 12 parts. I'll tell you why I'm telling you this. When I was in college, before I was even interested in Islam, I took a course called World Literature. And in that course, we studied some parts of Plato's Republic, Aristotle. We even studied actually the Communist Manifesto. We read some things from the Confucius. We read some things from the Bible. We read something from the Quran. And at the time, I didn't know any Arabic. When we took this course, one of our homework assignments was to compare the story of Joseph in the Bible to the story of Yusuf alayhi salam in the Quran. That was a homework assignment. And the only thing I had was the translation. Now I'll tell you what happened at the end of that homework assignment later, but let's go back to this. How many parts did I say the story has? Ah, what surah number is it? Anyone know? 12. Surah number 12 has 12 parts. Interestingly. Anyway, here's the first part. Yusuf alayhi salam sees a dream. The second part. His brothers make a plan against him. The third part, and by the way, the plan succeeds and he's taken away from his family. You know what happens. The third major part, the wife of the minister tries to seduce Yusuf alayhi salam, the test that he was put through. So the first part was the dream, the second was the brothers, the third was the wife of the minister, the fourth one was when she called the ladies. She called all of the ladies and they also fell in and they, you know, did what they did with the knife. They weren't very good with knives. And then the fifth part, Yusuf alayhi salam ended up in jail. You guys know that part? Right, he was falsely accused and he went in jail. The sixth part is when the king had a dream and he couldn't figure out what the dream means. What kind of animal did he see in the dream? Call it out loud. Huh? A cow, very good. That's, that's a very loud cow over there. Okay. Now the seventh part is that the dream that he had gets interpreted by Yusuf alayhi salam. So he doesn't know what to do with the dream. They send for Yusuf alayhi salam, he interprets the dream. The eighth part is Yusuf alayhi salam is released from prison. He gets out of prison. The ninth part is the women, remember those ladies with the knives? They confess. They admit that they did something wrong. The tenth part, the wife of the minister also confesses. The eleventh part, the brothers learn their lesson. You know the brothers who put him in the well in the beginning? Now we're in part eleven and they learn their lesson. Final part, part twelve, the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam gets interpreted. Finally, he knows what the ta'wil of the ru'ya was. The interpretation of the dream was. Okay, how many parts did I say again? Twelve. Now listen carefully. Part one, he sees a dream. Part twelve, the dream gets interpreted. Part two, the brothers make a scheme against him. Part eleven, backwards, the brothers learn their lesson and they ask for forgiveness. Part three, the wife of the minister tries to scheme against Yusuf. Part 10, going backwards, the wife confesses that she was wrong. Part 4, the ladies try to seduce or say something about Yusuf alayhi salam. Part 9, the ladies confess. Part 5, Yusuf alayhi salam goes to jail. Going backwards, part 8, Yusuf alayhi salam is released from prison. Part 6, the king sees a dream. Part 7, the king's dream is interpreted. This is not a book. It was a speech. There was no editing. There was no, here are the 12 parts. Let's put part 1 and part 12, part 2 and part 11, part 3 and part 10. It wasn't like that. It was given as a surah. The Rasul ﷺ recited it. And just in that recitation, it has this perfect symmetry. Subhanallah, ma'ajaba hadal kalam.